Okay, this is Eric Windheim, building biologist and electromagnetic radiation specialist. We're at a house in Wilton, California, and they have a solar edge string inverter on their solar system. We have a dirty electricity reading of 3,200 GS units. The amplitude of the voltage transients is 2.59 volts. The predominant frequency of this solar inverter, I mean the most powerful one, is at 16.2 kilohertz. That's 16,200 uh, cycles per second. And this is a little bit of noise from the solar inverter. So is this. And what we're going to do now, by the way, this is the 60 cycle sine wave. That's clean electricity. The rest of this is a result of the pulse width uh, modulator and the other uh, ways that the uh, solar inverter converts DC to AC. Okay, now watch very carefully as I turn the solar inverter off. We're going to look for the amplitude here. We're going to look for shortening of this, shortening of this and get rid of this fuzz here between 50 and 60 and a reduction here. Since nothing else in the entire house is on, this is just going to be dirty electricity that's coming in on the utility feed. So here we go. Solar off. Okay, so now we have about 800 coming in on the utility feed. Maybe, oh, yeah, somewhere down in that range much smaller amount. And we got rid of the uh, 16 kilohertz and the other thing that we did is the uh, voltage amplitude is now way down. The uh, amplitude of the transients is down to about five hundred millivolts. Now it's still not what you'd call exactly clean because uh, we still have uh, you know between thirty and, and three hundred and seven hundred coming in on the utility. That's other people's dirty electricity. But you can see it's huge difference when we turn the solar inverter off. Okay now if we turn the solar inverter back on like right now it's going to take a little while for it to uh, ramp up. And we'll take a look at that. Okay, we're going to unfreeze it. I'm going to turn the solar inverter back on. And it takes a little while for it to ramp back up, but we're going to let it ramp. can take a while. Okay, it's starting to wake up. We can see there's more here. It says it'll be up in uh, five minutes. It's going to take five minutes to ramp itself back up. And I think we'll capture all of that here. We can edit it out later if it gets to be too long. The, the X10 stepsometimes meter is at 650. Okay, we can see that the uh, we're starting to get our um, dirty electricity frequency back here at uh, 32 kilohertz. That's from the inverter. It's starting to power itself back up. Okay, it's getting close to getting powered back up.
Uh, turning them off is very rapid, but turning them back on is a much slower job. Okay, should be just another minute for it to turn back on. And you will hear the inverter kick in with its cooling fan. Or whatever it is on the inside there. Now keep in mind, with the inverter off, we have 640 GS units. That's not good, but that's what's coming in from the utility. And the voltage transients, uh, the absolute outside is somewhere around 560 millivolts peak to peak. Well, that's enough to cause pain and suffering for a lot of my clients. But it gets much worse when the uh, solar inverter is on. Here we go. I can hear it clicking. Okay, we can see the dirty electricity is really ramping up to almost 4,000. So when the inverter is on, you can see how the dirty electricity really accelerates. Thanks for watching. And by the way, this is uh, a quarter to four in the afternoon, so the sun is well past its peak.